Gender transition brings many struggles, but it can also bring many gifts and new and exciting opportunities. One of those gifts is being able to choose your own name. So in case you're new here and you also didn't read the name to my channel, my name is Chloe and I'm a trans woman. Being someone who is assigned male at birth, you probably could guess that Chloe was not the name I was born with. This is not the name my parents originally gave me. I'm not going to reveal my dead name here because that's not the point of this video. It's unnecessary and the important story here is choosing and changing my name to Chloe, not what I changed it from originally. And as a side note, you should never ask for or use the dead name of a trans or non-binary person Person without their express permission because, well, it's dead and it's not the name they currently use and it can be triggering and validating, uncomfortable, insert so many different negative experiences and emotions. So just don't do it. So get ready, folks. Here is the riveting story of how I, Chloe, became Chloe, how I picked my name. I've always liked the name Chloe, and I always thought it was pretty. When I started my transition, I knew my dead name just wouldn't serve me anymore. It didn't quite fit who I was, who I was transitioning and growing into. But for some reason, I wanted to keep my initials the same. Again, I'm not going to say what my dead name was, but my dead name did start with a C, and, you know, changing that to Chloe, which obviously also starts with a C. It's not Chloe with a K. In retrospect, I don't really know why this was important to me, but hey, I guess on the bright side, it helped narrow down my options for sure. I only had to pick from one letter instead of the entire fucking alphabet. I started asking my partner and a few close friends I came out to to begin referring to me as Chloe, because this was kind of just this name that like, I always like this name, I think it's pretty, it's kind of nice, sounds nice. Let me just try it on and see how it works. After a while, I realized that it just felt right. I never questioned it. Whenever somebody would refer to me as Chloe, it not only felt natural, but it filled me with joy. And the name kind of just stuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. Were you expecting something much more profound in the story here? Um, like I met a famous Chloe, and they blessed my transition, and so I had no choice but to go by Chloe in their honor. I guess that would have been kind of cool, maybe kind of weird too, but my life wasn't that exciting before my transition. Probably part of the reason I transitioned is because my life was just among so many other reasons. It was just kind of a blah of an existence, and wasn't really happy with it. I needed to change my name just like I needed to change many other things about how I was showing up to myself and to the world. But anyways, part of the reason I share this essentially non-story story is because there does not have to be some grand story, grand gesture behind a new name. It doesn't have to have all this for it to be special. It is what it is to you and therefore it is special regardless of the story or lack of a story that led to it. You know, it's right for you. Choosing a name is an exciting opportunity, one that could be overwhelming. Honestly, if you're trying to figure out a name, I recommend to do just what I did. Maybe not narrow it down to a single letter unless you want to keep your initials the same for some reason. I know other people have done that, so it's not just me. But think of a name or some names that you've always liked, names that feel like they would fit your gender identity. If you're like me and you knew that you were trans for years, maybe you didn't have the language, but you knew you were different, you knew that for a long time before coming out, you have probably come across some names that you like, even if you didn't quite realize it consciously at the time. Pick a name that sticks out for you, pick a name that you like, and try it out. Try it on. See how it feels. Ask whoever you're out to, whether it's just like your partner or several close friends, whoever it may be, ask whoever you feel safe to be out to at this early point in your transition to call you by that name. You know, try it on for a little while. Try it for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, maybe longer. And how does it feel? Ask yourself, how does it feel when somebody calls you by that name? Does it create a warm, uplifting, exciting feeling inside that just really lights you up? Mm, sounds like you may have found a solid contender if that's the case. Or 
does being referred to this name kind of just feel like well, uh, uh, look i don't i don't really know about that that doesn't feel really great or please don't ever call me that again hmm Maybe when people refer to you, you're like, I have no idea who they're referring to when they're saying that name. Huh. Maybe that name isn't for you, and that's perfectly okay. That's part of the trying out process. If it doesn't fit, put it back and try something else. I mean, I don't know where you're putting the name back because it's not like a physical object, but you know what I mean. You are not beholden to any name that you try on. This is for you, this is your transition, and the name you choose should fit you, your needs, your goals, your wants, your desires. Early in transition, you probably haven't legally changed your name either, and maybe legally changing your name is not an important goal you ever want to do, and that is perfectly okay. Just find what fits your transition goals. But I bring up that point of you probably haven't legally changed your name yet if you're still trying out names, because you consider it like a trial period. Try it out for 14 days, and if you're not satisfied, you can return it to the store for a full refund. Then, you know, try out another name. The people that support you and love you will be understanding. They will understand that this is a process of self-discovery. And you may not figure out everything on the first try. I mean, we often don't when we're trying out new things. It's often far from perfect when we're jumping into things for the first time. Transition is a scary adventure, a new adventure, and adventures into the unknown can be exciting, they can be terrifying, and sometimes they involve a bit of trial and error. All of this is okay, completely normal, and expected. There's nothing really to lose by trying out a new name. It might be frustrating or disappointing if you find that the first name you choose doesn't really fit, but think of it like this. Wouldn't you rather find that this name doesn't fit and then try out a new name that may fit you better rather than legally change your name and then later find out that you don't like that name and have to go through that hellish process that's often expensive and time consuming to legally change it again. If it doesn't quite fit, don't force it. Don't rush it. Take your time. Like all things in transition, you don't have to do it all at once and you don't have to do it alone. You will find the name for you eventually, and maybe when you least expect it. I'm sure many of you out there have far more exciting stories about how you came upon the name that was right for you. I mean, maybe you were on a days-long journey through the woods on an introspective soul quest, and you encountered a magical talking fox who was like, from now on, I dub thee Chloe, and you wake up from your fever dream and you're Chloe from that point onward. Can't say that happened to me for Chloe, and that definitely did not happen for my middle name either. I feel like the story for my middle name is even less exciting. I'd been using Chloe for a while, and I was getting close to the point of like, okay, I think it's time to legally change my name because I'm about to come out full time, or at least time to start that process. I literally had the thought of, oh yeah, um, I should probably change my middle name too. The one I was assigned doesn't really fit either. And I literally went through the same process, like, oh, I should start with the same initial. Let's keep all the same initials. I don't know why I wasn't particularly attached to my initials before my transition, but apparently I suddenly am now. And I'm not really right now. That was just at the start of my transition. I don't know what I'm talking about here. But I chose a name that I always liked, and it felt right. And I also hardly really use my middle name, like, ever, so it wasn't really as important. The process of picking that, the process of trying it on, and that's probably why I basically forgot about changing it at first. But, you know, remember, there might be more than just your first name that you want to change. But even though the riveting story of finding the name Chloe was not really at all riveting, it doesn't mean that I love my name any less. I absolutely love my name. Like, even at this point, uh, what, almost six years into being out full time, it still brings me joy and excitement when somebody refers to me as Chloe, because it's just like, oh yeah, that's me. That's me. I go by that name. It fits. It's so much better than what the world saw me as before for so many years, and it's still that way after multiple years. <sighs> it's just that warm and fuzzy feeling of feeling validated and affirmed for who you are. I mean, that's, that's a pretty big deal. I finally have a name that I want to be referred by, and it's just, it's just a good feeling. 
And I'm sure many of you can relate to that. And I've also been out so long now that many people in my life currently never met me pre-transition. So they just immediately know me as and call me Chloe from the get-go. There's none of that process of having to like learn a new name and unlearn the old name. It's just like, I'm Chloe from day one. And it just makes things so much better when people just meet the real you from the beginning and don't have to like figure out what to do with all those different pieces feels amazing. I feel like I'm a broken record here, but all of this just feels so great. An exciting story for finding your name? That's great and all. Exciting stories are fun. I mean, they're, they're exciting. But the important part about finding a name is finding the one that fits. Finding the name that makes you feel like you. When you hear it, when you think about it, when you say it to yourself, when other people refer to you as it, find the name that just makes you feel like you. And I'll go ahead and turn it over to all of you now. What is your story on how you found your name and how you chose your name? Was it a pretty casual affair, simple, similar to mine, or a story filled with intrigue and excitement? Did you go through, or are you currently going through, a sort of trial and error process of trying on different names before finding the one that's right? What does it feel like when you hear somebody refer to you as your chosen name, as your real name, the name that authentically represents who you are. Let me know all of this and so much more down in the comments below. And as always, Tipsy and I love you all and hope you're staying safe and sound. If you have not done so already, please be sure to give this a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I love you all. Bye for now.